Today we are shooting with the Viltrox 85mm f1.8 Mark II. It's a really sharp and fast lens. Honestly, it's starting to become my favorite lens. Uh, we are going down in the streets of Brussels with the GoPro Hero 4. I'm sorry, it's gonna be a little bit wobbly and we are going to shoot people and a little bit maybe of architecture. We'll shoot what we can find. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You'll be a legend and let's go. I'm gonna try to get quiet. Vous descendez ici et c'est pas la première à gauche, c'est la deuxième et puis vous tombez dessus. Merci. Derrière. one person so I hope I'm still recording yes maybe yep going down go into APS-C mode to get something a bit closer and there I need to have the bike There's always something in the way and I don't like to have some board or something so I'm gonna go a little bit further past the board come here and I'm gonna lower my exposure compensation just to get some highlights and I will lift up the shadows after
So aperture priority. Why I use aperture priority? Um, first, when I'm shooting street photography, I don't like to mess with manual because most of the time, if you shoot manual, you're spending more time um, looking for your settings than actually taking the frame and taking the shot. So. That's one major issue. And I don't want to miss any shot, in fact. So that's the main reason why I shoot aperture priority. And if it's on the camera, well, I mean, if it's on the camera, it doesn't be that bad, in fact. Um, I mean, you select your uh, aperture, you can do the aperture compensation, uh, the exposure comp compensation, so honestly, why not? Yeah, I'm looking at the reflections, but those puddles are kind of uh, small, so I wish, I really wish. Ah, come on. I think I got that one. Maybe go back. <laughs> that was free. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Think I got that one? Yeah. It's not the best one, but... So right in front of us is the big touristic place, which is the Grand Place. Um, lots of my friends have shot that place. I'm gonna try to do something different than them. Um, yeah, it's it's go down and wait so I set my aperture my uh, focus point there in the middle so I don't have to wait and I don't have to refocus just waiting for the perfect person that's just it and photography is most mostly about patience
Dude, if you can stay there. It's a little bit crooked, but um, yeah, I got it and uh, I will straighten it after in post in Lightroom and it's gonna be okay. So, this is the Grand Place. It's very touristic, but as you can see with Corona, there's not a single tourist. So, I wasn't planning to come straight here, but uh, maybe it's the best option, in fact. So, let's see. I shot this place a couple of months ago and I never got what I wanted. So what I'm looking for is someone going there one too many I got the cyclist I hope I got it and then what you can do Just if you take a shot, people go next to you, just turn it around and take them. Maybe you get a great shot. So always have an eye on everything. I think I got that one. He had the typical old guy from Brussels look. With the beanie, the fur cord coat. Um, and what I also like is fellow photographers. So so harsh uh, they have constructions everywhere uh, I wish someone is coming down but...
always on the lookout. Always. Lighting, but I need something. I like the lights, but there's something missing. So maybe it's the bikes. People see a GoPro, they are always like, okay, we need to go in the frame and just capture it. Okay. I'm shooting quite fast because I don't want to lose too much time doing stuff so here I saw that guy uh, here there's nothing happening uh, what I'm sure of that one. At this point, I'm going to shoot and I'm going to go APSC. This 
sometimes I wish photographers and especially street photographers were transparent, invisible, because we would capture way more than we are. Framing with leaves, just like this, or maybe like this. someone to cross. I got it. So I'm pretty happy with that. I hope it's in focus, but I think so. Honestly, I, it's been a while since I've shot with the 85 because of the 7180, which is now my favorite lens for street. Uh, I'm gonna frame that guy. Okay. That's one more. Here. Maybe a little bit further. And wait. See, it's always waiting. five minutes no one will be there I'm gonna decide to go away and then someone will cross okay not sure we'll see afterwards but for now I'm pretty happy
I hope you enjoyed it. I tried to do my best to include more of a... Uh, some explanations. I tried to talk a bit more. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram also. And yeah, I, I'll be in the comment section. And for what I can say is that the Viltrox 85 Mark II is awesome.